I am Anthony Green from Circa Survive, and I say thank you. So, um, my first question I ask everybody, like the first time I ever interview anyone, back many, many years ago, when I um, interviewed the Damned on the Warp Tour, when I sat down on the bus to do my interview, they turned the tables on me. They interviewed you. They sort of did. They had me describe their band in three words. So why don't you describe your band in three words? Psychedelic pop rock. Very cool. So you can imagine, it's nice to turn tables on somebody. <laughs> yes. So you can do that in the future to somebody else, you know? <laughs> I find that the interview on, interviewers will find it difficult if you start grilling them on questions. I like to just make it easy. It was weird. It's the first time I've ever had that done. It's just like, okay, that was good. Totally put me on the spot. You know, because you're like, sort of like psyched up. It's like, let's get going, yeah. do this. You know, I got my stuff in my brain because I don't usually bring a list of questions with me. And they totally threw me off. So if you could pick a song by another artist that you wish you had written, what would you pick? Uh, it's, there's a, there's a, a, day, a, a band called Days Away from mm -hmm. Pennsylvania that are broken up. And they're... There's a, a song they have on an album that came out on Fuel by Ramen years ago called Mapping an Invisible World, um, uh, called God and Mars. It's a great song. And they also have another song, um, and I can't remember what it's called, but it goes, We can try and get out of this web we wrapped around us. Very cool. And it's like my favorite line. And the way Keith Goodwin sings it, like, mm -hmm. There's probably a dozen bands like that, but that band like that. is one of those bands that I, I hear stuff and I wish I had written. I wish I had written. They're inspiring. Cool. Yeah. They have oh, a new cool. band now called Good Old War. Very cool. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to find that other to listen to it out, too. It's so good. It's so good. Good Old War. Now I want you to um, pick three songs by anybody that would define who you are. <laughs> Would have been easier just to ask you about your albums. Yeah, no, you're you're at, uh, making me think. Which you don't usually have to do in these things. Oh, that's <laughs> why I like it. Just, um, I immediately thought of this song that Frodus, this band Frodus, mm -hmm. used to. Um, they used to cover a Devo song called Explosions. Very and cool. I, I remember when I, from when I first heard to, heard of it until. You know, up until recently, I used to listen to it every time I got to the car. It just made me feel great. It was a great, it's a great song, and it's like they took a Devo song that was sort of like, you know, it was rocking, but it was in a Devo way, and made it like really heavy and almost sound like a hardcore song. Um, uh, there's a song that Dredge wrote called um, uh, it's, uh, it's on El Cielo, um, <clears throat> and it's. Uh, Say, uh, the same old road. Mm -hmm. and it just always makes me feel good. It reminds me of like being young, but it also reminds me of like uh, like being unsure of everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that that's something I can um, relate to all the time. Um, can I even take one more ride? Mm -hmm. There's a Smith song called "Please, Please, Please," uh, where he just says he gets what he wants. And I, I know it probably seems like I get what I want all the time, but. I always am thinking, like, I just want to get what I want, just this one somewhere. Yeah. My way, 100%. Usually when it, something gets, when something happens and it's not totally your way, usually it's for the best reasons. And mm -hmm. if you learn how to roll with it, then you can pretty much have what you were looking for. True. I love that song. It's okay. kind of sad. It's cool. I'll have to check those out. I do like the Smiths. I love them. Yeah. I grew up listening to the first tape I ever got from anybody was uh, Queen is Dead. Very cool. One of the surgeons I work with, um, that I used to work with, used to always play Smiths in the operating room, which was always cool. And Sweet I mean, I loved it. Room music. Oh, he played some really s stuff that I liked and I listened to, but a lot of people wouldn't. That's kind of stuff. Now, do you have tattoos? I have a couple, yeah. Okay. So I want you to pick a tattoo that you have. If you can show it to me, that'd be good. I'll zoom in on it. And I want you to give me the story behind it. Okay. Because um, people are always asking that, yes? I got this when about a month or a month and a half maybe before I got married and it was like I think it was one of these things where I was like I am going to be with the same person forever having That's a little cool. bit of a freak out and I wanted to just do something I like, like 
I just wanted to do something mm -hmm. to represent how much I loved women. <laughs> and I was kind of having a freak out now. I was, wanted to have one last... Uh, she last hurrah. One last, like, <laughs> one last affair before I got married. So that's her. <laughs> so what does she, what does your wife think of uh, it? She loves Tallulah. Okay. She there likes her because I gave her a breast reduction. <laughs> like her that. Her boobs were huge. And I gave her a breast reduction because then I brought home a tattoo with the bigger boobs than yeah. my wife. She would have went insane. Yeah. I'm not really into boobs. So. There you go. So my last question. It's the future. You open up the Rock and Roll Encyclopedia. What would you like to read under your band's name? I'd like to, to read that we had something to do with inspiring whoever is going to come and change this industry and change this, um, this scene. Mm -hmm. Whoever's going to come and rescue us from this, this dismal tide, I hope that they can say, oh yeah, I like some of this.